Okay, you might not want to see this once I get done showing it to you. Now this is the micromotor assembly. This is the micromotor cap. These are the two screws that actually hold the assembly. There's a screw hole here and another one over here that holds the micromotor assembly into the lens. And I'm kind of going to put it back together, sort of, kind of. Right? I showed you in the prior video. This is actually slotted. It's hard to see since it's so small. There we go. And I'm not going to put the C-clip back on, but there's a little C-clip. All it has to do is fall out for the uh, micro motor to stop working. Now, this is the gear that interlocks with the entire lens mechanism. People have pointed out, oh look, look in the micro motor. You know, these are tough nylon gears right here. See right there, right there. These are, you see that? That's spring loaded too, by the way. And it's a very, very weak spring, as you can see. But, a chain, you remember heard that old saying that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? Well, look at this little gear right here. Okay, are you looking really freaking close? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me get it in there. It's got some nice little grease on it too, you see? Let me get my lighting properly. You see? Now, this is what drops down right in here. Let me show you. You can actually see the gear right in here. Look in here, okay? You see how smooth it's turning now? No noise? No noise because I've taken the micro motor assembly out. You see the little teeth going right there? You see that? Now the entire frigging lens. Now remember, this is an AFS motor. Okay? AFS right here. It's everything. The weakest link of this is what's interlocking with the entire autofocus assembly. You can say, well, these are tough gears right here. Well, actually not. It's all plastic. That's tough right there. That's a tough gear. That's a tough gear. Well, this is a smaller gear. It doesn't take very heavy torque. Yeah, it does. If you actually get the slightest bit of debris jammed in here, what happens is it'll seize up, and then the motor will try to drive this nylon gear, which is on the shaft of the micro motor. And then it'll hit this plastic gear, which isn't as tough. Then it'll hit this tougher gear, but then it interlocks with this tiny little gear here, which uh, has 12 teeth, as I recall. Only three. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, twelve. Yeah, twelve teeth. That hasn't changed. So, the entire crux of this sucker burning out, not burning out, not the motor itself, which the motors do burn out. Number one, the C-clip falls off, and once the C-clip falls off, it's all she wrote, baby. Okay? That's point number one. Hold on, I'm getting to the best part. Bear with me a second. There's the cap off the micro motor. What happens? You see this? This is on the shaft right here. You see that? Now, let's take a look at this gear. In other words, the entire autofocus of this lens hinges on off of this little gear right here. Now, you want to th see how tough this little gear is? Hold on a second. Let me move my GoPro a little bit here. Let's see how tough this micro motor is right here. Oh, well, shit, look at that. It's really soft. I'm not even pressing that hard. Look, I've totally peened over. No, I actually scraped off half the gear with just a little bit of pressure. You see that? Look, look closely. Look at the shaved plastic coming off of that. You see that shaved hair? Do you see that? Now, there's all these morons that were making fun of me last month over on a photography forum the largest in the world, by the way. Oh, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Because they were all talking about, because lens rentals, by the way, show that uh, there was not a true ultrasonic, ring ultrasonic, in the $2,200 AFS Nikkor, the 105mm F1.4. It's like, they were kind of surprised. It's like, well, I wasn't surprised. This is also the same gear system that's in the 20mm 18G, 24mm 18G. A lot of uh, zoom lenses like this is a 55 to 300, but it's the exact same micro motor. It's like, well, you know, there's got to be a better motor in that really expensive Nikkor lens than there is in this kit lens. No, there's not. There absolutely is not. It's the same thing. Now, remember here, everything on the autofocus of this lens is driven off this tiny gear that I just proved to you. I peened over. Look, look closely here. Let me position my light. So you can see it. You see, everything is peened over. 
the plastic is shaved off. That whole gear is missing three quarters of its volume. Once that happens, this is what happens. You'll hear this noise in your lens. You know what that is? That is called gear slippage, which can't happen with a ring ultrasonic. Because that little tiny... So you can look down right there. You see those teeth right there? Look down there. Yes, that's right. Everything on driving this entire lens hinges off of this meshing with this little freaking gear right here. Everything. Okay? Not this, not this, not this, which all drives this little gear. Chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Tell me again that I'm wrong. Tell the guy that's been uh, taking apart lenses and fixing them for 20 years isn't wrong. Tell me again that I'm wrong. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. I have Vinny says, do it, man. Just do it. Tell Vinny he's wrong, huh? Eee. There's the two screws that hold the assembly in. There's the cap. I mean, there's the top, the cap, and the C-clip right there. And that's that. This micro motor is the exact same micro motor that's in a lot of expensive Nikon Prime lenses and zooms. Everything is hooked to this little gear, which I just put. People were telling me on the other board, oh, this is some white stuff. That's some nylon, man. I mean, that's some... That's uh, that's that's some really tough stuff. You know, they use that in like real expensive uh, miniature helicopters, man. That stuff never breaks. Well, yeah, it does. And even though it's tougher, guess what? A chain is only as strong as its weakest link, girlfriend. Yeah, tell me I'm wrong. Do it. Tell me I'm wrong. Eh? Do it. That's right. If you like this video, you can drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Either way, I just proved you wrong. I got the facts right here in my damn hands. I just proved to you with the screwdriver blade how easy it was to peen over and scrape off. Look. Look. You see that? You see that? That was not a lot of force. You didn't see me going, Ugh! No, I just went, whoop. Took half of it off. Now, tell me again. That's right. You can't tell me because you know I'm right. Well... Some people will still say that I'm wrong. That's kind of like talking to someone in some sort of crazy religious cult. And la la, they stick their fingers in their ears and they go la 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 la. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. La 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 la. You know what I'm talking about? That's right. Bye.